Hey, you guys, welcome back to What's Happening. Martel Ho is a special type of man. And when I say special, I don't mean special in a good way. Now, we all know about a week ago, he went to his Instagram and made a post that said, y'all let me know if Melody Cherie or anyone else started a GoFundMe for Councilman Devin Keith. He says, I have a little something, hashtag King. So... We know he was trying to either insinuate that Melody was dating him, but then on top of all of that, he outed a man who most of the fans of Love and Mary Transville had no idea who Councilman Devin Keith was. So um, by the fact that he was trying to link Melody to him, and I think we all saw where Melody is doing an event with him. And so in my mind, he probably seen them out having lunch. Maybe they were meeting to discuss the event. And of course, we know Martel was probably lurking in the bushes and or maybe followed her or seen her out. Who knows? But you guys, you just can't make this stuff up. So he made a post and he said, I lived most of my life in District 1. So I know how much has changed because of Devin Keith's leadership. I attended Terry Heights Elementary, Stone Middle, and S.R. Butler. I then went on to attend and graduate from Alabama A&M University. I was brought up in Terry Heights, Butler Terrace, Mason Court, Northwoods, Meadow Hills, Council Court, Lincoln Projects, and Oak Park. I then went on to attend and graduate from Alabama A&M University. Though the areas in which I grew up have generally been labeled as property stricken and have often been seen as less deserving, I am proud to have been raised there. Many, many great people from those neighborhoods have gone on to do great things. And that is why I have always supported Devin. I saw that his intentions were genuine and that his words were backed by action over and over again. But being a man of action who is deeply committed to his work does not mean that he is a man who is exempt from making mistakes. It should, however, mean that even in the midst of his mistakes, he deserves the same consistent support that he has offered others in the past. I had the privilege of attending the Huntsville City Council meeting on Thursday night and was empathetic to Devin's acknowledgement of how his actions may have impacted his mother, grandmother, family, friends, and constituents. I admire his resolve to move forward despite missteps. Prayers are up. District 1 continue to stay strong through this tough moment. It too shall pass. Now, first of all, I don't believe that Martel wrote this. That's just my personal opinion. I don't believe he wrote this. Uh, I want to say I'm, maybe his PR manager wrote this. But it looks bad on his part to have made that post about Devin Keith needing a GoFundMe. But now you're attending the council meeting and now prayers are up and you support him. But you outed him in a sense when you tried to connect your ex-wife to him. Now somebody jump in the comments and make it make sense because it's just not adding up. But if I was Devin Keith, I would have politely had Martel Holt escorted out of the building. Now on another note, yesterday Melody shared a really sweet video of Malia Boss Baby um, reciting something for Black History Month. And then Martel makes a post of him and Malia. And he says, I want to thank my beautiful Malia and her awesome teacher for allowing me to read to their class on yesterday. Just know the boss Malia took over. Yeah, I'm sure she had to um, and did a phenomenal job reading to her class. This interaction with these first graders was superb. Let's all make reading first choice. Now, y'all know when Martel was trying to read his speech at his Ines Wine event, he could barely read his speech. So I know he wasn't sitting up there trying to read a book to these kids. But I digress. But I do want to say Boss Baby is so special. And she seems way more advanced than a first grader from just the way she talks and communicates to how she reads the spelling bee we saw her up there spelling those words um that the spelling bee melody shared with us 
But sound off below and let me know what you think about this little speech he put out about Devin Keith and how he supports him after he did what he did last week. I thank you guys for listening and watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.